Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another video in my makeup collection series, I guess you could say. I'm gonna go through my high-end makeup. I'm starting here, even though this is my drugstore collection drawer, which I already posted, so if you haven't seen this one, I will link that video down below. But on top of it, I do have a few high-end products and this is where we're going to start. I keep a lot of the things that I just think look pretty and I put them on display. These are also some of my favorite high-end products. So I have some of my favorite primers. I have the, what is this one even called? First Light Primer, yeah, from Becca. And the Backlight Primer, which is such a good one right there. The Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, which is a very luminous, very dewy setting spray, but it's still really pretty. This I would have to say could possibly be my favorite foundation. As you can see, I've used quite a bit. It's right there. And this is my second bottle, I think, of this. Love that foundation so much. The Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops are really beautiful. Back here, I keep my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundations, which I love. I also keep my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour and Beauty Light Wand. These are some of the most natural contouring and highlighting products I've ever come across. They're gorgeous, and I think the packaging is pretty, so I keep them there too. I have two Hourglass Primers, which are both beautiful. This one is the Veil Mineral Primer and then the number 28 Primer Serum. Really, really beautiful primers. This is from Hourglass. Hourglass is one of my favorite high-end brands. This is some of their lipsticks. They have like single lipsticks and this was one of their holiday sets. Again, I think it's a really beautiful little container, so I keep it here. I have some ColourPop products, so these are not high-end, but these are definitely um, some products that I reach for a lot. This is from the Dream Street Collection from Kathleen Lights and ColourPop, these three. And I definitely love this Moonchild Gloss and these two satin lips are beautiful. This is a satin lip in November. I'm not really sure why it's here, but really beautiful color. I keep a few of my Kylie Cosmetics lip kits. They're a little dusty. <laughs> this collects a lot of dust up here, but I like to keep them here because again, the packaging is really pretty and I think it's nice to have out on display. I kind of like to do that. I keep the pretty ones out. Um, this is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Dolce Vita palette. Such a beautiful, just neutral palette and this glitter shade is stunning, so I love that. Sorry, the lighting is changing. The sun is starting to go down. But the Dose of Colors, this is the Fuego highlighter. This packaging is gorgeous, so naturally I had to keep it out on display. That is so beautiful though. And then this is their eyeshadow palette. This is the Desi KD collection eyeshadow palette. So the quad that they came out with, I don't think this is available anymore. It was the limited edition, but I still like to keep it out. I also have the rest of the Dose of Colors Desi KD lip products here that came with that same collection. Um, here is the other highlighter. This is Mirame, a little bit of a darker highlighter, but it's still so pretty. This is where I also keep my Stila Magnificent Metals eyeshadow glitter thing in Kitten Karma. This is the only shade that I own and the full size, and I really love this shade. It's one of my favorites, so it's pretty, so I keep it there. Keep all my Dose of Colors eyeshadow palettes, all the matte ones. So we have Baked Browns, Blushing Berries, Marvelous Mobs, and Sassy Siennas. So beautiful. If I had to choose one, I would maybe start with the Baked Browns palette just because it's so versatile. Look at those beautiful colors. These formulas are so good. Oh my gosh, so buttery, so beautiful. My second pick would probably be Sassy Sienna's because again, you got some browns in there, but then you have some beautiful peaches, which are my favorite kinds of tones. However, Blushing Berries is absolutely gorgeous as well. So if you're into berry tones, this is beautiful. If you're into mauves, obviously, Marvelous Mauves is a good option. So I keep all those in there. Really love these palettes so much. You may see that I keep some packages in, or some products, I mean, in the packaging. These are the Kylie Cosmetics Times Court lip products that are beautiful. Um, there's a red one in here that is especially beautiful. French Kiss is nice. Where is it? I'm into red orange. This one was in the shade Rad. Isn't that pretty? I really like this shade. I'm not sure if they are still selling that either. I know it's, it might be a limited edition collection, but anyway, that's that. Down here I have a Dior highlight. This is probably my most booty highlight that I own. This was the Nude Air Luminizer highlighter and it's in the shade 001. Beautiful highlight. So keep that in there because packaging is gorgeous. Hourglass makes some of my favorite products ever. So I keep the bronzer in here. This is their 
Ambient Nude Light Bronzer. I love the marbling on this. And this is such a gorgeous blush. This is their Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush in the shade Euphoric Fusion. Again, love the marbling on that. So pretty. So that is what I keep out on this desk. And then moving over here, I have some more on display. I just like to keep things that I have multiples of out on display. I think that just looks pretty. So I have some of just like Estee Lauder classic lipsticks. They're all different finishes, but they have the same uh, packaging, which is why I keep it here. I have a little sponge holder thing and the sponge isn't even in there. I got this off Amazon and I really, really like it for just letting my sponges dry. So I keep that there because it's cute. I have High Beam and Sunbeam, which are liquid highlighters from Benefit. And then some Buxom glosses in the back there. I also have this on my desk. This is one of my favorite moisturizers. It's very high end, but it's one of the high end products that I will continue to repurchase because it's one of the most beautiful moisturizers underneath makeup that I've ever used. So I love this extra illuminating moisture bomb. They changed the packaging and I think this one is now called Nude Glow. They have like two more shades. So if you're interested in the one that I use, it's called Nude Glow. Over here is where I keep my palettes. There are a couple uh, more affordable palettes like the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette in here, but these are the ones that I keep on display that don't fit in the drawers or that I just feel are really pretty. This is also from Makeup Geek with a few of my extra single shadows that don't fit. Those are all Makeup Geek blushes. These are a mix of ColourPop and Makeup Geek single shadows, which I keep out. I love my Z palettes of colors. They're just like so perfect to travel with. So awesome, so I love that. This is a more recent palette to my collection. I think it's absolutely beautiful. The Urban Decay Beached Palette. So perfect for summer, I love this one. For a more natural, neutral palette, this is Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. These are all mattes, really pretty palette. And the packaging is gorgeous on that, so I keep it on display. Uh, this is one of my favorite palettes ever. I think it's limited edition and I haven't really seen it anywhere anymore. NARS Bord de Plage palette. It is my favorite highlighters and bronzers ever. I know they just released highlighters and singles, so it's probably the same formula. I need to try them out so I can tell you if it's the same formula or not. These are some single shadows from Nabla Cosmetics, which is a beautiful Italian brand. Look how pretty those are. This shade especially is gorgeous. And here are some blush singles and contour and highlight shades from Nabla. I keep those with each other right here. This is from Bobbi Brown. It's the Crystal Drama Palette. It's really pretty. This came out in spring and it's so, so beautiful. Love the packaging on that too. I keep my Marc Jacobs bronzer out here because it's Marc Jacobs and, you know, again, packaging. But I also use this bronzer, it's really nice. I need to get the uh, coconut one they made permanent because that's apparently more popular and it's apparently really good. But I just have the original. This is the Aspen Ovar Times Tarte palette. Beautiful for every day. I love this palette, it's very good if you like neutrals. You guys have heard me talk about it quite a few times in my videos and the packaging again. <laughs> Pretty much, as you can tell, everything that's out here I love for packaging. This is still in the box. I actually need to use this. I haven't even tried it yet. I recently got this. This is part of the Marc Jacobs Coconut Collection. And, you know, this is the first... Like, there's, there's certain moments where I just feel like a palette speaks to me and I just splurge a little bit. And this was one of those things. Like, I love my drugstore makeup. But again, there's just sometimes some high-end things that I personally love to invest in. So... This Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette is so beautiful. Oh my gosh! I mean, come on. <laughs> so, yes, I'm a makeup junkie and I love this. This is such like a collector's item for me. Of course, I will still be using it and I need to try it out because it's so beautiful, but that stays out front too because I thought it was just too pretty to have in a drawer. And now we're at my drawer set. This is the high-end drawer <laughs> set situation. It's organized kind of similarly to my drugstore one um, as far as like the sections go. Some of them are a little different, but let's just get right into it. And here I have like eyeshadow primers and lip balms. I actually even have a hand cream in there from Caudalie. Just anything that I need to prep. These are newer to me, so they kind of don't fit, but I have like, this is actually a really good lip balm from Pharmacy, the Honey Butter Lip Balm. I really like that. The Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base is one of my favorites. I wish you guys could smell this through the camera, but I've obviously really enjoyed this. Thailand. <laughs> you like the smell of this too, huh? So good. <laughs> my husband's filming, by the way, so. This is the Bobbi Brown Extra Eye Cream. It is so rich. If you have dry under eyes, oh my goodness, this is just so great for underneath makeup. 
You could obviously wear it on its own too, like before you go to sleep, but it's a really good eye cream. I have a Pericone MD primer. This is really beautiful. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Flawless Filter. I don't know, what is it? Mm, for a superstar youth glow. So it's just like a primer. It's a glow primer and it's beautiful. I love this. The Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer is one of my favorites for hydration. It's so good. Um, this I bought a while ago and I haven't used it in a minute, but it's the Urban Decay Quick Fix Hydro Charge Complexion Prep Spray. So it's like a prepping spray, like it said. I have a primer from Bare Minerals. This is one of my favorite primers, Embryolisse Late Cream Concentrate. So great for dry skin, so great for makeup application. I just feel like every time I use this, my makeup looks really nice. Some other great primers are from Makeup Forever. I have two here. I have a mattifying one and a hydrating one. I personally use the hydrating one more. I believe this one was sent to me, so that's why I have this. I bought this one, but I personally like more hydrating primers. That's just personal preference. This Wander Beauty Catch the Light highlighter is beautiful as well. I actually don't even know if I've used this in a video yet, but I've definitely used it like off camera and I need to use it in a video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's really beautiful. It's newer, I believe, to Wander Beauty. It's a little bit newer. This is new to me as well, the Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. This is really good. I love this brand because it's safe for sensitive skin. I love their moisturizers, so this primer is really awesome. It, it really leaves your skin super moisturized. I need to use this more actually because um, I tend to like go to my go-to primers, you know. Oh, I have a Laura Mercier one down here as well. Laura Mercier Radiance Primer is in there and my Too Faced Hangover Primer, which is also really, really good. Now there's kind of a theme with um, hydrating primers in here. I have a blurring primer back here. These are like more of my blurring primers and I also have some like Charlotte Tilbury samples. These are actually, that's like the supermodel body, which is for your body, obviously. There's like a face mask and the Wonder Glow, which is like a glowy primer from Charlotte Tilbury. So they're just like little minis. This is from Serious Skincare. It's more of a blurring primer. I, I don't use like silicone primers too often, like these kinds, the Professional from Benefit and the Smashbox Photo Finish. I keep them in here because there are times that I do need them, but it's not something that I gravitate toward often. Um, this one from Dermalogica is really nice too, and it does also kind of have a pore filling effect, so I keep all those together. And that's this drawer. Woohoo! Next, we have face palettes and powders. So it is a little bit different than how I organize my drugstore one now that I look at it. I have two powders from Becca. These are their luminous soft light blurring powders. I have both colors. This is one of the powders that I definitely splurged on because Patrick Ta told me to. <laughs> so I did. Patrick Ta is one of my favorite makeup artists and I saw him using this on several like celebrity clients and I was like, okay, I gotta try it. This is a Givenchy powder, people. This is fancy. Look, there's four different colors in here and it's really great for brightening the under eye area. So I use it on special occasions or if I'm doing someone else's makeup, I like to use fancy products sometimes because I feel like it makes them feel special. I don't know. Um, the Derma Blend Professional Loose Setting Powder. It's a really beautiful powder, actually. I love this one. The Becca Hydrate. This is the water one. What's this? Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I did a whole review on this on my channel. It is the most unique powder ever. It feels like water when it goes on your face. It's the craziest thing, but it actually locks in your makeup for like hours. It's awesome. The MAC Patrick Star Powder is one of my favorites as well, just because the color is more of like a peach, as you can see which is really great for brightening the under eye area. I'm a little bit too fair actually to wear this right now, in my opinion, so it's been sitting in there for a minute, but maybe when I get a tan it'll be better. This Cover Effects Powder is really, really beautiful. I have the classic Laura Mercier setting powder, and this is the newest one to my collection, and it's probably one of my favorites. This is the Hourglass setting powder, and the packaging is just beautiful. The powder somehow sets your makeup, but never looks powdery, which is something that, you know, is ideal for me. I love it. Hourglass is one of my favorite high-end brands, so you'll see a lot of Hourglass products scattered through here. I have, um, like, this UA blush palette, which I recently purchased and tried out in a video. I have some Bare Minerals. I have a Bare Minerals face duo. I have some trios from The Balm. I love this blush trio right here because it has my favorite blush ever. This one right here is Balm Beach by The Balm. 
Love that blush. So I basically just keep like all my face palettes in here and um, I'll show you some in the back as well. This one's from Smashbox. It looks really kind of plain in the palette, but one of my favorite contour palettes from Smashbox. Um, I have some like little poofs that I obviously need to wash. I have my Anastasia contour kit in here, which I'm sure a lot of you may have because a lot of people have talked about this for years. I have the Huda Beauty 3D highlighting palette. This is blinding. This gives you a blinding glow. So I don't use this on an everyday basis, but I definitely like it for when I want a blinding highlight. I have the KKW Beauty Contour Kit right here, which is actually one of my favorite contour kits as well. My husband recently got me the new KKW Highlighter Palette and I haven't tried this yet, but it's in the box still. So I will definitely need to try this. I have a wet set from Kylie Jenner. The formula on this is so crazy. I have this in the box still too because it's limited edition. I'm just kind of like that. I have a glow kit, the sugar glow kit from Anastasia in here. I have the Urban Decay Sin Afterglow palette, which I actually really enjoy. This was sent to me and honestly, if I were to walk by this in Ulta, I probably wouldn't have bought it myself, but since it was sent to me, I tried it out and I actually really, really like it. The blush shades are gorgeous. The highlight shade right here is beautiful and the bronzer works really well. So these are great palettes for like traveling, you know, if you don't want to pack a bronzer and a blush and all things separately, just taking one little palette is great. I'll show you this one first. This is the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette. Does anybody else still own this? How beautiful is that? I honestly wish this was a permanent item just because it's so beautiful and so convenient. Love this palette. And then I have one from It Cosmetics, which just looks like this. And it's beautiful as well if you want a bronzer, blush, and highlight on the go. The rest of these things are just like these little mini Laura Mercier things that I bought in like a little holiday set when I wanted to try out the Laura Mercier powder. And then I have it Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. So that's that drawer, pretty fun. Next up we have brows and concealer. I love this drawer so much. So in here I have my high-end concealers. I absolutely love the Tarte Shape Tape, obviously. The Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Concealer is great. Underneath I have a lot of shades of the Bobbi Brown concealers. And then this one right here is an eye cream actually, which I keep in here as well. The Kylie Cosmetics Skin Concealers are some of my favorites for like a more natural, look. I love these a lot. The Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Actually, the formula is kind of similar to the Kylie Jenner ones. Just a little bit more watery and a little bit more of a lightweight formula. So I like those. I recently picked up the Becca Aqua Luminous Concealer. Really beautiful for more natural looks. Again, for more of a medium coverage, I like this. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer is one of my favorites of all time. I love this. I will always continue to repurchase this. The Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealers are great for covering up blemishes. They're definitely more full coverage, and since they're in a stick form, um, they're just really easy to travel with. I really like these, actually. They blend over blemishes and discoloration really nicely. I have some concealer from Paracone MD right here in a few shades. And then the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, which really knocks away your under eye circles so fast. So I love those. In this compartment up here, I have more like brow pencils. So I have some from Hourglass. Those were sent to me, they're beautiful. And they also sent um, some brow gels too. Some of them are tinted, some of them are clear. And then I have some Benefit Brow Products, which is one of my favorite brands for anything brow. They have great products. This is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, and then the Gimme Brow, which is like a little, you know, brow gel. I have three shades of the Foolproof Brow Powder. I actually do use all three shades, depending on what color I want my brows to be. Uh, back here I have more pomades and actually I keep some like prep products in here too. These are like the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pots and Groundwork Paint Pot. So those are for your eyes, but I like to keep them in here. Um, then I have this Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector, which is great for dark circles before your concealer. This is awesome. The NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer is really great too. This is definitely a little bit more full coverage um, and really easy to travel with. It's a great concealer for concealing blemishes, but I also like it under the eyes. Some more brow products back here. I love the 3D Brow Tones from Benefit. They just add like highlights to the brows. Um, the high brow pencils make your brows look more lifted. Just basically anything that you need in here. This one's from Anastasia. Really like to use this to conceal my brows and kind of like carve them out a little bit more. This is Wonder Brow, the waterproof brow formula. I used to wear this a ton actually. I need to pull this out again and retry it because I remember loving it. And then I have an eye primer which should kind of maybe go up there but I keep it in here. 
The rest of them are brow pomades. I have my Anastasia brow pomade, one from Nabla, one from Bare Minerals. I'll just sit back here. And that, my friends, is that drawer. Oh, this organizer is from Amazon, by the way. This next drawer is probably my favorite. <laughs> I love blush, bronzer, and highlighter, and so this is blush, bronzer, and highlighter. Honestly, it's not really organized very well. Like, there's bronzers all over and blushes all over, but I will show you some of my faves. This is a current favorite of mine, the Becca highlighter in the shade Vanilla Quartz. Wow, wow, wow. Beautiful, beautiful for fair skin. My goodness, it's very lovely. I wear that one a ton. I also wear this one a ton, Anastasia Omrizi highlighter. Gorgeous. I can't even handle how beautiful that one is. Um, this one has been a favorite in my collection for so long, the Mary Luminizer Highlighter from the Balm Cosmetics. Love this one too. Obviously we have the classic Champagne Pop, oh, 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 Champagne Pop, love this. I have some blushes from the Balm Cosmetics back here, I won't show you all of them, but this is the one I was telling you about before. This is kind of an older blush, but it's beautiful. Such a good just like neutral blush. I recommend this to everybody, especially people who don't really like to wear too many colorful blushes. This is one of my favorites just because the tone is just like perfect for a little bit of color without looking like too much. We have the classic MAC Melba blush, which is a beautiful peachy everyday tone. This is beautiful as well. I recommend this to a lot of people. Tarte Exposed blush. This is a really nice neutral one. Uh, this one right here from Becca is a little bit too dark for me right now, and I don't usually say that, but this is beautiful with a tan, just because it's got that kind of corally, golden undertone, but my skin is very fair right now, so I haven't been reaching for that too much. These are some new blushes that I was recently sent from By Terry. I mean, look how beautiful that is. Like, I hardly want to use it because it's so beautiful, but I have used them, of course. I'm not gonna just let them sit here. They are stunning, so that is one of the two. Right here I keep some of my Bobbi Brown blushes. I love these because they come in such fun, bright colors. Like this is fun. I love this one. This is Apricot number six. And then this one's a beautiful neutral one in the shade two tawny. So I keep all four together. Uh, back here I have some bronzers. This one's from Tarte. This is the Park Avenue Princess bronzer. I'm sure a lot of you guys own this one. It's very famous for Tarte. Uh, the Girlactic Bronzer is actually gorgeous. I love this. It's really, really nice. You can't really go wrong with this because the shade is just, you know, not too dark, not too orange. The undertone is just right. So you can really build it up and it really stays looking very nice. Love these two bronzers from Urban Decay, the Beached Bronzers. They come in two shades. This one is bronzed. I would say I use this one more because it has more of a brown undertone. The other one right here, which is called Sun Kiss, is slightly more pink, which actually looks really natural on the skin because it looks like you were sun kissed, hence the name. I really like that one. This is one of my all time favorites, the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Smells like chocolate and the color is beautiful. Kylie Cosmetics Blush. This actually is funny. I never ordered this blush, but one time I placed an order and I got sent someone else's. <laughs> So I have a blush. <laughs> the Too Faced Love Flush blush in I Will Always Love You. I don't think they make these anymore. I haven't been seeing them in stores and I'm kind of sad because they're just beautiful. This is one of my first blushes I ever, ever, ever got. It was given to me by my grandma actually. And it's from MAC and it is in Sun Basque. I don't really use it, but I keep it because, you know, memories. This is one of my only cream blushes that I own. This is from Stila. It's a convertible color in the shade Peony. Love this blush though for when I want a cream blush. The color is awesome. Uh, I have a really old Bare Minerals blush in here that I don't even think they make anymore. Nabla sent some fun blush colors. Here's one. And is this blush? I don't remember what this one is. Oh, there's a highlighter in here, which is beautiful. I keep my Benefit boxed blushes and bronzers back here. My favorite being Dandelion. Hold on. I just like it. I just like the shimmer. I like the pink. It looks really nice and natural on the skin. Um, California is in there. And then I have my Hula bronzers kind of toward the back, which it's hard to reach. And But you guys are probably familiar with Hula bronzers. 
These are both from Bare Minerals, the Invisible Bronze Bronzer and Invisible Glow Br uh, Highlighter, not bronzer. And these are really nice. I like the marbling on this. This is a really great like buildable bronzer from Bare Minerals. This is actually misplaced, but I think it looks nice next to my other Laura Mercier items. This is a like setting powder. It's a finishing powder, I guess I should say. It kind of adds a little bit of a glow to your skin from Laura Mercier. It's the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. Then I have a Laura Mercier highlight, which is just, I mean, that is beautiful, isn't it? I love this one. The packaging is really nice. This is the shade Devotion. It's their face illuminator. I kept three Bobbi Brown highlighters in here because you guys, I mean, once you see the packaging on these, whoo, these are so beautiful. This one is in the shade Moon Glow, which is probably the best for my skin tone at the moment. Um, this one I like to use as a blush topper just because obviously it's pink So I don't like to put that on the highest points of the face But in the inner corner of the eye and over blush is beautiful. This is in the shade sunset glow Last but not least we have this one. Oh, actually this is probably better for my skin. This is afternoon glow So this is probably the one that I reach for most For some reason I thought it was the other one, but now that I see this one this works best for my skin tone I really love that they're just gorgeous. Then I have two highlighters from Kylie Cosmetics, Salted Caramel and French Vanilla. These are loved and used, as you can see. And then just like in here randomly are some cheek tints from Benefit um, that I like to use on a more no makeup makeup day. And yeah, that's that drawer. So fun, I love that drawer. Next up, we have eyeliners, mascaras, um, cream shadows, <laughs> um, cream, Eyeliners, yes, cream eyeliners, that's what I was trying to say. I don't have as many high-end mascaras as I do drugstore, actually. This is one of my favorites, though, the Monster Big from Lancome. Love this, it's so good. Ooh, I love for this mascara. This is the Roller Lash from Benefit, so good. This one from Marc Jacobs is one of my favorites. I don't know, the packaging and the formula is so good on this. It's just awesome. What is this called? Ah, oh, this is the Velvet Noir Mascara, so. Such a great high-end mascara, but again, I feel like there's so many great ones at the drugstore, so I don't have too many high-end. I have some really fun glittery eyeliners. A lot of these are from Nabla, uh, except for this one. This one's from Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. But the rest of these are from Nabla Cosmetics, and they're just really fun. I don't know, they inspire me, especially this one. The Dazzle Liner. It's so gold, it's crazy, and it like applies really beautifully. And I keep more like stick eyeliners in here. I actually have more eyeliners that are sitting on my desk. I keep a lot of my eyeliners over there because I get ready at my um, filming table a lot and for some reason I forget eyeliners the most. So I tend to keep a lot of my eyeliners over there. I have several from Bare Minerals. I have some from the Balm Cosmetics in several different shades. I have a Charlotte Tilbury one in there. Yeah, those are probably not as interesting. Because I just have like several different shades. I also have some from Ilia Beauty, which is a really fun clean beauty brand. And I am planning on doing a video using clean beauty products, so keep an eye out for that. Um, this is from By Terry. These were so beautiful, and this was such a generous gift from By Terry. These are their Ombre Black Star Cream Eyeshadows. I don't know if I've ever experienced a more beautiful cream shadow in my life. But the thing is with cream shadows for me is a lot of times because of my eye shape they can crease by the end of the day and I can honestly say I have not experienced that with any of the By Terry products so far so really been enjoying those. I have a couple from Girlactic and then I have some fun colorful ones from Lancome from their spring collection this year so I like to keep those in there as well. I have a cream shadow from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade um, Jean. Just a really nice champagne for all over the lid. I like that one. And then I keep some um, black gel liners. This one's from Sigma. Actually, this is recent to my collection and I haven't even used it yet, but I've heard amazing things about this, so I'm excited to try. This I've owned for a long time. This is from Bobbi Brown. It's her gel liner. Love this stuff too. And then I have some like mini mascaras that kind of hang out back here. And I like to take those when I travel. And um, yeah, that's pretty much that drawer. Next up we have foundations. I have quite a few in here, but I genuinely use all of these. So I have some like more tinted moisturizer products that I like to lay in here as well as my powder foundations from Bare Minerals. Um, so I have a few shades of the Double Wear Light foundation from Estee Lauder. 
I feel like Estee Lauder makes some of the best foundations ever. This is the Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. It's basically like their Ultra Repair Moisturizer, which is incredible, but then like there's a tint to it so you can wear it as foundation, or as a tinted moisturizer, I should say. Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue has been a favorite of mine for a very long time, so I keep two shades in there. This one's really fun. This is from Airborean. Um, it's a Korean brand, and it's a CC cream, and when you apply it to your skin, it's actually a white color, like this. This is a CC cream, by the way. And then once you blend it in, it actually blends into your skin tone. So it's a really cool product, and I actually really love it for, like, just when I want to run errands and I don't need too much coverage or I just, you know, maybe I'm having a better skin day and I want something lighter. This also has SPF in it, which is great, so... It's a really fun product. This is one of my favorites from Hourglass. I love Hourglass. So this is one of the most full coverage tinted moisturizers I've ever come across. It's beautiful, so I love this one. Um, I also keep the Sunday Riley Clean Long Wear Foundation in here. This one is one that I like to use um, when I just feel like my skin's maybe acting up a little bit, but I still wanna wear something that I know isn't gonna break me out. I will use this. Then I have two shades of the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. This is amazing. I love this for traveling. I love this for an everyday basis. And I wish I would make a shade right in between these two because I need to mix them for my shade. But sometimes it's nice to have two shades because I can, you know, wear this in the winter, wear this in the summer, and then mix them the rest of the year. I have four shades of the Bare Minerals Bear Pro Performance Liquid Foundation. I actually really enjoy this foundation. A little goes a long way. It can start to look funny if you build it up too much, but I actually really enjoyed it. One of my other favorite foundations ever is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup. I love to layer this underneath the original double wear, so I'll do a light layer of this, and then I will just um, use the other double wear over areas that I need a little more coverage, and honestly, it's like one of the best complexion products ever. So I have two shades of that, because it's just incredible. Um, the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. Holy cow, this is very high coverage, but that's kind of what I go for, so. I have a couple Paracone MD No Makeup Makeup products, so this is the No Foundation Foundation. And um, I really enjoy these for more lightweight, everyday coverage. I keep some of these around for when I do other people's makeup too, just in case, because I know a lot of people like a lighter coverage. The Armani Power Fabric Foundation is one of my favorites. It's a little bit more high-end, yes, but it is very full coverage, um, very reliable. I actually love to use this to mix into my other foundations. If I like something that's a little more hydrating, but I want something with more coverage, I like to put this in with it and mix it and make my own custom formula, or I wear it by itself. But, you know, it's a little expensive, so I like to use it as a mixer to make it last longer. Um, I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick right here which is great, I love this. It's more full coverage, but it's really beautiful. Photographs really nicely as well. If you have an event coming up and you're looking for something that you need to photograph well, these are awesome. I don't even think I showed you the liquid versions. I actually like to mix them sometimes. Like I'll put this all over and then I'll add more coverage with this. Um, I think it's nice to have both formulas, but this is also a formula for Makeup Forever that is beautiful in photographs. I use this and recommend this for like brides or any sort of prom occasion where you know you're gonna be photographed, this is awesome. Back here I have a Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Foundation. It's been a minute since I've used this, I need to. It smells good, I remember it smelling like lavender, so that's a plus. This one right here is actually a more natural foundation that I've been testing out, Fit Glow Beauty. All the ingredients in here are like edible, so like it's super, super good for you. I will keep you guys posted on what I feel about this as I continue to try it. Back here I keep like my It Cosmetics, what is this one called again? Confidence in a Compact. And I have to have two shades of this as well. Um, this is really nice for if you need a lot of moisture and you want more full coverage, you can kind of layer this, light layers though. If you layer this up too much, it can look cakey fast. I learned that the hard way, but it's beautiful if you use sheer lighter layers. So I have the two shades in that. Back here I keep my Bare Minerals Bare Pro powders for when I use my Bare Minerals foundations. These are pretty good powders. They're not my all-time favorites, but I still keep them back there because I do like them. Wanderlust Powder Foundation. I don't know why people don't talk about this more. I think it's a gorgeous powder foundation and it just like never leaves your skin looking too powdery. Like it just airbrushes everything, sets makeup really nicely. 
I have really enjoyed this one from Wander Beauty. So that's all that we have back there. I think that's everything. Oh, these are just brushes if you're curious. These, oh, these go to the Bare Minerals powder. So that's why I didn't show you those earlier. Next, we have an empty drawer. This one needs to be wiped out. This is where I um, kept a lot of my lip products. And again, we have them in that drawer over there, which I have yet to organize. So we have an empty drawer. So I might like reorganize these um, later this year. Now we're going into my limited edition palettes, except for a couple of these, as well as some single eyeshadows back here. I told you guys I don't have as many single eyeshadows from high-end places so besides these palettes these are newer um actually they're they're really new to bare minerals these eyeshadow palettes i just barely put in here and that seemed like a better spot for them because you'll see my other drawers a little bit crowded this is from stila it's the eye for elegance set this was a holiday set and so again i keep more limited edition palettes in here i actually don't know if these bomb palettes are limited or not but i needed to use them in here because the other drawer is very full I also keep like more colorful palettes in here that I don't use too, too much. Um, this one's from Sigma, but I mean, that's a fun palette for if I need something with color. I have a limited edition nice palette from Kylie Jenner. I keep the box on this one because it's cute. This is a fun fact. This was my very first high-end eyeshadow palette that I ever purchased from Stila. They don't make these anymore, um, but this was the In The Know palette. And I remember absolutely loving this, as you can tell. I really love this, especially this shade right here. I just keep this, and I think I will always keep it, just because it reminds me of how far I've come, you know? And, like, I've always loved makeup. This is a pretty old palette, and I, like, saved up my money, and I went to Sephora, and I was, like, broke college student, and I bought the palette anyway. I ended up getting this other palette. This is the In The Light palette. This was actually at Nordstrom Rack, like, right before I got married. And since I like this one, I picked this one up and I actually used this on my wedding day. So they don't make this anymore, but really good, you know, neutral tones. And I really liked it on my wedding. So this is also a limited edition palette that I will forever love. The Master Palette by Mario. I mean, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I wish they would bring this back just because... It's so beautiful and looks gorgeous on so many different skin tones and eye colors. This is from the Lancome Spring Collection. It's a really fun, colorful palette. The formula of this is actually beautiful. I was kind of skeptical at first because a lot of times pastel colors can be difficult and they can be really chalky, but these are actually beautiful. So that's from Lancome. Then I have two like custom palettes from Buxom. If you don't know, you can go and actually customize these palettes. So if you're into certain shades, you can make them your own. They actually still do this. They still have these, but I keep them in here because, I don't know, they're older. But I still really like the shades in here, and this is something that I used to use a ton. This is one that was sent to me last year, two years ago, for their holiday collection. And it's really fun. Kind of has some wintry tones, I guess. Uh, back here, it's kind of hard to see. We have some Smashbox shadows that are in here. I have a NARS duo that is broken, but I love this one. This one's in the shade I sold. I have some Bare Minerals eyeshadow palettes, which I believe they still have these. These are the Ready eyeshadow palettes. Some of my original favorites as well. Used to use these a ton. This is from like my, my original makeup bag. Like I've had these for a long time. And then we just have some Makeup Geek glitters, some Dose of Colors eyeshadow singles from their mint to be collection this one's like a mint color and then some glitters from the balm and that's pretty much it for this drawer last but not least we have my high-end eyeshadow palettes this is probably one of my favorite drawers as well um i love these two from nabla the nabla dreamy palette is so beautiful this is a brand that i feel like needs to be talked about way more and i'm hoping that they bring this brand to the US because that would be absolutely incredible. Right now they're only available online. You can still get it, but you have to pay for shipping, I think, which can get kind of pricey because it's international. This is their latest palette called the Soul Blooming Palette. The color palette in here just inspires me and I really love the packaging of this. So Nabla, love your palettes. These two are from Tarte. This is the Clay Play palette. I, let me see, okay. This was the original one, which I actually like better than the second edition. And, you know, I'm kind of, like, bummed about this because they came out with, like, a volume two. And I bought it because I love this one so much. But then I looked closer. The names are exactly the same in this one. Some of the shades are exactly the same as this, but the other shades are switched around. So, what I think happened is, you know, maybe they didn't sell as many of these as they were planning on selling because 
the normal consumer who isn't a makeup artist probably would walk by that and be like, I don't need a palette of all neutral shades. I personally love this though. So I think what happened is they used, they had a lot of extra cartons and so they just like redid the inside. Uh, I kinda, oh, I don't know. Uh, it's a good palette, okay? I especially am grateful that they kept this shade the same because it's like my favorite transition shade ever. But I don't know. I don't know why. I just kind of felt bothered by that, that they just used the same packaging with the same names and just changed out the shades. But I guess this would be something that the average person would probably buy versus this one, which is my favorite, but it's definitely something that I take with me to do other people's makeup just because you have all like matte brown neutral shades. It's amazing. And you can use these to contour as well. And you can use them to fill in your brows. I love this. I don't know. They got rid of this one. I'm kind of sad and replace it with this. Anyway, that's my rant about the Tarte things. <laughs> um, and here we have the Laura Lee Nudie Patootie palette, which I haven't even filmed with. I've used it before and it's actually really beautiful, especially these glitter shades right here. Um, I need to film with it and I keep it in here. It's really nice. Then I have the Dominique Cosmetics Latte palette, which is this one right here. I just love to buy like YouTubers things just because I love to support them. I think it's awesome that they have created their own makeup lines and so I like to buy them, and this is actually a beautiful palette. I haven't used this in a tutorial yet either. Goodness gracious. This one's from The Bomb. It's the Nude Beach palette. And then I have like all my Anastasia. We have Modern Renaissance. We have Soft Glam, which is my favorite one. We even have Subculture, which is also very beautiful. I love the colors in there. Then we have Prism which I think was limited edition. Really fun. This color right here, Throne, is so pretty. I keep all of my Anastasia palettes next to each other in here. This is one of my favorite palettes too. This is from Urban Decay. It's the Naked Heat palette. So beautiful. Oh my goodness, warm tones everywhere. I've got some that are more purple undertones, some that have more of a brown undertone over here. This shade right here, Ember, is one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time. I love that shade. For all over the lid, it's beautiful. Another Urban Decay is their recently launched Back Talk palette. It has like a blush and eyeshadows in here. I actually haven't used this too much. I need to reach for it more. And if I don't end up using it, I end up giving it to friends eventually. But anyway, this is the Naked palette, the original. <laughs> I actually just recently got this like a few months ago. It's so crazy because this is like one of the first palettes that ever, you know, got famous here on YouTube or in the beauty community. And... I just recently got it. I'm very behind on that palette, but I do really like it. One of my favorite palettes ever is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I love this. I got this two years ago on my birthday, and I just think it's so beautiful and smells delicious like peaches. The KKW Times Mario palette is another one of my favorites. I just get inspired by this. These are colors that I definitely use every single day, but then you have a really fun pop of cobalt blue, which is fun. So I think this is a beautiful palette. The formula is great on that. Persona Cosmetics came out with this identity palette and if I remember right she wanted to create something that would work for any eye color And I think she definitely killed it. It's such a good palette Really beautiful if you're into neutrals and just I don't know you have everything you have all your mattes You have some shimmers and from a range of colors so you can make everyday looks and you can make really glam like neutral looks for nighttime too. These are some palettes that I feel like aren't talked about as much as I think they should be. The Sigma eyeshadow palettes. This is the Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette. I love the colors in here and the formula is so good. It's so buttery. So that's such a good one. And then this is the original Warm Neutrals palette, which is really beautiful as well. I love the tones in here too. This one right here. I love this color for a transition shade. But again, I feel like these palettes aren't talked about enough and maybe I need to use them in tutorials more. But I think they're beautiful. Then we have the Just Peachy Mattes palette from Too Faced, woo, which is really beautiful. You guys know I love my peach palettes, so this is a really fun one. I love the pops of color in here too. I think they're so pretty. Then we have the Kylie Cosmetics, what is this, burgundy? Yeah, the burgundy palette. I think this is a really pretty palette. I actually don't really reach for it that often. I don't think there's really a reason why. I just feel like, you know, my Anastasia Modern Renaissance has the same tone. So if I'm going for a look like that, I tend to reach for that one. But it's still a really pretty palette. And I keep it in here anyway. Back here, I keep some of my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palettes. I have Volume 2 right there. And then Volume 1 right here. Really pretty shimmer shades. 
The TARDIS Pro Palette is one of my favorites. I feel like you can be really creative with this one. It's kind of fun because they have looks laid out for you like row by row. So if you're really not sure what to do, you can just play with the tones in the row. Obviously you can play with all of them, but I think that's kind of nice for if you're not sure what look to do, you can kind of just go down the row and create something. Great palette, I love that one. This one's so cute, the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Palette. Just a little baby matte palette, it's so cute. There's one shimmer shade right here for like your inner corner and your brow bone, but I think it's really fun for just like if you want a warm toned matte look. This is a really fun palette. This was actually given to me by a subscriber. This is the Lorac Unzip Desert Sunset Palette. I haven't used this yet, I need to. It's beautiful. I actually don't own any other Lorac palette, I don't think. I used to have one, but it broke, and so I ended up getting rid of that. But isn't this beautiful? Love this so much. And I love the packaging on these palettes. How it like rolls back, I think it's cool. Then we have the Meet Matte Nude, Meet Matte Adore palette, and Meet Matrimony palette from The Balm, which all sit back there. They're all matte palettes, just some good matte tones. So that is it, you guys. That completes my high-end makeup collection. Oh, I guess I should, I never showed you this part in my beauty room tour, but this is where I keep things that I use and love and just have an extra of. So I, like, I recently rebought my Drunk Elephant Bestie Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser because I just ran out today, so I bought a restock of that. So I keep a lot of things that I, you know, am currently using and, like, want to keep a restock on. I keep them in here. Down here is kind of a mess. I haven't gotten to that yet. These are, like, some lip products that need to go in that, but haven't yet, so that's that. And then in here, I keep some of my Lila B products, which are really fun. These are gorgeous, actually. If you guys haven't heard of Lila B, they're such a beautiful makeup brand. And um, I keep my glasses in here, too. And then I have some Ilia Beauty products and a Bite Beauty multi-stick. Kind of random. So now we're done with the high-end makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that and hopefully you had a fun time seeing all the products that are in my Alex 9 drawer over here. Again, if you guys haven't seen yet, I showed my entire drugstore makeup collection, which is over here in this drawer, in my last video that I posted, so I will link that down below. And coming up will be the lipstick collection, which is gonna be really fun. And I'm kind of overwhelmed because I have a bajillion lipsticks I've gotta go through, but it's gonna be worth it and it'll be fun. So keep your eyes peeled for that. That's everything, you guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. And if you guys are curious about any of the organizational things that I use, I will have those linked down below as well. A lot of them I got on Amazon and a lot of them I got on Ikea. I will have those linked down below for you guys if you are interested, and I think that's everything. I love you all so much, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!